What does what the uh, departure of Brandon Cox mean to the outside linebackers group? Uh, I'm going to leave that uh, to Coach Smart. That's my brother. I love him so much. I wish him the best of luck. Yeah. What have you seen so far out of the linebacking group uh, this fall? I mean, we got multiple guys in there who just go, can play, can do whatever you know. They're very valuable. So, How have you um, managed to ascend? Uh, looks like you're working with the first team. What's What's been the key for you and how you've improved to uh, get that status? I've just been coming in every day, just working hard every day, just staying focused and just keep pushing every day. Is everybody working at both outside spots or is it a little more kind of towards one spot for guys? Uh, I mean, we got multiple. We got two. We got Sam and the Jack. So, I mean, it depends on different packages. It's, it depends on who go in and who go out. So, it's really uh, How would you kind of – what do you think of this crew? Is this a crew that's going to be kind of a get out the backfield, get out the quarterback group, or is it the group that can – versatile yes, sir. and run, stop, and pass coverage too. Yes, sir. I think this is a group that we can wreak havoc this season and just do damage to different teams. That's, that's what I think we could do. I think you talked about how the, you're playing the Sugar Bowl kind of aided you in the spring. I mean, from your perspective, how much did that little bit of experience at the end of the season after your injury be act as a springboard for what you might be able to do this season? I think it was a great experience for me going out there, playing a big game, had an opportunity to show what I could do and just get better from that game as the season comes along. When did you find out you were going to do the media interviews today? Uh, I found out like in the middle of the day. Yeah. Have you done one like this before? Have you no, sir, one? never. No. It's my first one. All right. <laughs> what was your reaction when uh, you were told that? I was a little nervous at first, but I mean, <laughs> I'm here now, so let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in terms of the outside linebacker group, what makes you think the so-called habit will be different this year than last? You know, I mean, with the additions of Jermaine and Nolan and the depth you have there now. Oh, yeah. Um, we just got guys that can go, that can rush, that can do whatever that are just so valuable that they're just ready to play in ball. They can do whatever they want, whatever the coach wants them to do. Do you think the idea of Havoc is created more by athletes like yourself winning one-on-one -on -one battles, or is it the kind of thing the coaching staff is going to towards scheme its way right towards? No, nah, I think Havoc just around the whole defense, just everybody getting after it, everybody just trying to make plays and just get the win. You guys have been in full pads. Yeah. The heat index has been around 100. How's it, how's it been? I mean, have you been prepped for it, or are you kind of still getting used to being in full pads in the heat? Oh, yeah, man. Our conditioning staff do a great job. They prep as well, so we just out there pushing through it. Ignoring the heat, just getting after it every day. Anybody impressed you on the offensive side of the ball? It looked like there were some referees out there today. On the offensive side of the ball, I me, mean, you know, I'm going against Andrew Thomas every day, Isaiah Wilson. We're just getting after it every day. Them two, just the great offensive tackles. Is that frustrating going against Andrew Thomas every day? <laughs> I mean, it's not frustrating because I know I'm getting better every day. So I know they're helping the whole group, the whole team gets to get better every day. So it's a, it's a blessing. Is that more of a physical challenge of you got to get around a big guy, or is that more of a mental challenge of the strategy that you use to do that? I mean, what's it like in that one-on-one -on -one situation? What do you find the most taxing about that? I believe it could be both because you can stop the run, convert the pass, so it's either you just got to man up and play. How has your body changed in terms of uh, either weight or strength since uh, the bowl game? Well, I haven't gained like a good 10, 15 pounds. Thanks to the straight coach and straight staff, it just helped me develop and get bigger and stronger. What do you weigh now? 250. What was last season like for you where you, had you played in the mid Tennessee State game, so obviously your knee was, was clear to play that, but also, you know, the coaching staff sort of took it slow with you and obviously went straight through that season. Well, I was just kept my head down, plus just kept working, just do whatever I could do for the team to get better and just help the team out that season. Um, how much does it help you guys to have? Jarvis uh, Jones around. Oh, yeah, it's a blessing to have Jarvis around. He's played here, great player here, great outside linebacker. It's just a blessing to have him around the room, just teaching us different moves, just helping us out and develop as a player. Monty's uh, in the – I guess he's the voice of the, of the defense. Tell us a little bit about what Monty's like in the huddle. We get him out here, and he's very stoic. He doesn't say a whole lot. Yeah, more Monty, man, he's a great player. He's vocal. He gets everybody to call. He knows he just – Gets his right and everything going. Does he talk? I mean, beyond the call, will he will he say more stuff? Is I mean, is he a fiery up kind of get in your grill kind of guy, or is he pretty much business out there? I mean, Monty could be whatever you want, whatever you want to be. I mean, he's physical. He he can fire you up. He gets you going. He just like he leads the defense. He's one of our leaders, so we just follow him.
Did you watch? I'm sorry. Did you watch Georgia football when Jarvis was playing? I watched a little bit. I mean, I know. I mean, Jarvis, Ali Ogletree, the inside linebacker. Those boys are different. <laughs> the boys are good. The boys are good, man. I mean, having somebody like Jarvis, who obviously has been through the war, has been a part of the program here, and had a success in, on the next level. When you're playing under somebody like that who has kind of been through all that, what does that do for you guys as far as making y'all want to be better? Can you, can you repeat that? No, just ha having being able to work on somebody like Jarvis Jones and that experience that he's had I don't know, collegiately in the face. So what does that do for a guy like yourself to play that same position? Oh, it's just just blessing to have him because he, he knows what he's he been through everything. He knows how it goes. He helps us on a rush. He helps us how to new techniques, things to do. So it's just it's just a blessing to have him. How know. much does he know that he can help y'all with that y'all don't yet know yet on like technique and the mechanics of the position? He knows a lot, man. He's a great player, player here. He knows a lot. So it's just like learning from him is just just great because we learn new things every day. You seen anything from Kenny McIntosh? I know he's a new running back, and I don't know how much you see him out there, but has he shown anything or done anything yet? I mean, Kenny is just, he's big, he's big back, he's quick, he's fast, he can catch. He's a great player, great player. What's the story behind the number change this year, the 13 from the one you had last year? Oh, I mean, 38, I just wanted to switch it up a little bit to change it, change it start a new beginning. So I just changed it. Were you in high school? No, we were in high school. Yeah, okay. You got some quality reps last year, red shirted, but going into this year, how much mentally stronger do you feel going into fall camp? Oh, yeah, man. Mentally stronger. My mental, I have got way stronger mentally going into this season. Just I know I just got to keep working, doing the thing, everything right, just trying to. Focus. What's the first scrimmage mean, and how is it something you guys are just have been looking for? Is it something you look forward to for a long time, or just what's the mindset going into the scrimmage Saturday? Going into the scrimmage is good on good, co compete every day, just get better, just get better. That's what. Last question. Are you and the other guys, uh, Adam, Jermaine, Nolan, are you all interchangeable, or, or how drastic a difference are there your, your skill sets? Oh, yeah, we're close. I mean, we're all good in that OLB. When we all can do whatever the coach wants us to do, we're all we're all versatile. We can do whatever they want us to do. We just build off each other, just compete each, each day, just go hard.